Hi, I'm Marvin with Reed Electric and Field Service, and today I'm going to show you how to set in play on a ball angular contact thrust bearing. So you're going to need a couple tools with you. One, a dial indicator. Uh, two, a hollow tube to reach the uh, steady bushing inside the shaft. And three is a jack. So what you want to do is set up the dial indicator on top of the shaft before jacking it up. Uh, start to jack it up. And then as soon as the dial indicator stops, you know that your, your uh, lower bearing has hit the bearing cap. You don't want to go too high because you could have the possible damage of breaking your bearing cap or damaging the bearing. So once that's said and done, you want to grab your spider washer and the shaft nut. And you want to tighten these all the way down to take out what it's called as no in play. Doing this for a while now, I've run into several different problems. One of the problems is caulking the bearing cap to the shaft and then trying to set end play. What happens is you get a, a misreading of end play. And then when you go to try to test run it, or even install it, you have the possibility of damaging both bearings. So once your shaft nut is all set up, set the dial indicator back to zero, <clears throat> release the jack, you might have to do this a couple of times. The differences between a US and a GE vertical hollow shaft motor is the in-play settings. On a US, which we have here, the tolerance is set between five to ten thousandths. And on a GE, it's between two and five thousandths in play. So you might have to jack it up and lower it a couple of times. So right now we have the end play right at 10 thousandths. We'll put it right in the middle. And there you have it. End play is set at 9 thousandths end play. And that's how you set end play on a ball angular contact thrust bearing.